Today we are checking out the often unseen Arcus. He rarely makes an appearance, especially on other people's videos. You can see him a little better <laughs> on his own YouTube channel, which I believe is Arcus MC. But look at him, he's beautiful. We're gonna sneak up here. We're gonna see if we can attract it with some gold. He doesn't see us. He doesn't see us. We're watching him do what he does best. Build things. Look at, watch him as he builds. Watch him as he, he enjoys his craft. His eyes focused on his clay blocks. His 18 deaths apparent when we get close enough. Now he's running off. He's running off. Has he seen us? There he is. There he is. The famous Arcus. We have paid him off with six gold ingots. And he will now leave us. <laughs> have a good day. Um, That was Arcus. He needed some gold. He, he needs some powered rail and uh, he didn't have enough gold. No, no, I'm good. It's just six gold. It's not a big deal. Hey, Etho. Hey, Beefy. Uh, do you want to see a show? <laughs> sure. This feels like a date. <laughs> I've got some potatoes. We're going to have dinner and a show right now. Yeah, I want some dinner. Here, for dinner you. For... Have some baked potato. Uh, I'm not hungry. I'll eat it later. No, what the? <laughs> Don't order soup. <laughs> Don't order soup. <laughs> Soup's not a meal. <laughs> Just a salad. Uh, Just okay, a so, salad. you know what? Actually... Earlier in this video, I saw Arcus building this, and he only had... Man, he builds quick. Yeah. It's been maybe a few hours. Well, yeah, probably only a few hours since I last saw him. And he only had, like, the perimeter built. And now he's got, like, the whole thing built. And we're gonna, we're gonna see a show. If this isn't already a show. Hmm. This it's might be... It, it's pretty entertaining already, I gotta say. This, this might be the show. We might be very disappointed when we put Cobble in that chest. Put at least 16 cobble. Did you read this already? Uh, not on camera. <laughs> put six, at least 16 cobble into the chest for the show to start. The more cobble you put in, the longer the show. Enjoy. So maybe somebody put like a whole crap load of cobble in it. <laughs> I got 33. <laughs> okay. Here you put go. it in there? Yep. It's in. <laughs> Woohoo! I think this is the show. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. It's probably not done yet. I'm guessing he's gonna make the power rails turn off or something. Yeah, like if it runs out of cobble, the power rails will probably turn off. Yeah. How is he making the? Are the sheep jump, just jumping naturally? Uh, they they springboard like that, but if they touch the ground, they're gonna die. So I should not be here. Oh yeah, and you're gonna. Oh boy. Because I'm bumping him. Oh, you just walked right through the flying moo. What? That's <laughs> his name, right? Flying moo. Arcus is amazing outdoor theater now showing the fla oh flash moo and the Flash. flying companions. That Arcus, man. This is pretty cool. <laughs> he needs a curtain that comes up, too. You know what he needs is something better than cobble. <laughs> People are just going to pay him in cobble? Actually, I should check this. He might have pistons. Oh, he does have pistons here. Okay, this is supposed to open up. Ah, all right. Oh, curtain. okay. Well, that would have added to the effect greatly. <laughs> Sorry, Arcus. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man, but it's great. It's a great show. I could stand here for hours and be entertained. Dinner in a movie, sort of. I can't eat my dinner. So, Etho. Mm hmm. What do you got? Why am I here? Okay, B, first of all, have mm -hmm. you joined the Death Games? I haven't, but I want to. Is it ready? I, I haven't joined it either yet. We can do it together. Okay, well, it, I, last time I checked, it wasn't ready yet. It's it's ready. I, I didn't really announce it yet. Oh, though. I want to. I totally. Where's my sword? Good's in there right now. Oh, Good's a death gamer? <laughs> yeah, he's a death gamer. <laughs> Wait, where's mine? There it is. I want to be in this thing. All right. You just put it in the chest? Yeah, do it together. All right, here. Ready? Three, two, one. There. You feel good, beef. And now I can kill you. No, 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 because it's, <laughs> it's not me. No. Yeah, I hit the button, and now they're out. So you got to hit it again so somebody comes up? 
Uh, no, it'll come up on its own. Okay. I don't want people forcing people's names. All right, that makes sense. Where is the armor? Oh, here it is. Still there. Hasn't been used. You know, a lot of people were saying this is not... People should be able to use their own armor for this, mm. but I don't agree. I kind of think that this is this is much better. So you, you'll be able to use potions as a thing. Yeah, but if you think about it, if you were able to use... Like, I'll just take my best sword and just finish the guy off in one shot or two shots, you know? Mm. When he's not That's expecting right. it. But like this, it takes a little more effort. Yeah. Aqua affinity. What? <laughs> <laughs> is the little cap I put one level in it and I got that too. I just wanted protection. Oh, I guess that's okay. If it's like an underwater kill. Yeah. Perfect for your base. I heard you have some uh, some needs that need to be filled. Okay, so you're my squid guy, right? I'm the squid guy. Okay. I want you to install a squid tank for me, please. Ooh, you will not regret it. This is like top of the line squid tank. It shows it's just the classiest thing you can get. See, that's what I want. I want classy and cool. Yeah. Is it classy and cool? Oh, it's classy and cool and classy. <laughs> oh, and classy. Yeah, it's classy, cool, and classy. That's twice as much classy. Dude. You won't believe it. Like the most amazing thing. I've built so many of them already. <laughs> this is totally not the first one I'll ever build. First and last. <laughs> <laughs> Give me money. Look at this guy asking for money. Nobody's given him any yet. He's got a golden sword. That's good enough, right? This place is open too, by the way. If you want potions, just take them. Really? They're ready to go. What do you mean, like free potions? I'm offering the service free, mm -hmm. but donations are welcomed and encouraged. Is there a donation box, or is that the guy, the money guy? Yeah, probably in here. All right. I'll donate. Yeah. I'll have a potato. I want a kidney. <laughs> okay, so over here, yes, is my secret basement. Oh, that's pretty fancy. All right, you stand over here. Mm-hmm. Wrong music disc. Do that one, and we go to the secret. Get basement. the hell out of here! Oh yeah. How'd you do that? Woohoo! Secrets. <laughs> oh, this ceiling looks kind of cool, even though it's like the floor. Yeah. But like that it. worked out nice. <laughs> So I would kind of like it down here somewhere. I'm planning to have like a cool, relaxing, oh. classy. Classy, yes. And classy. Okay, all right, I got you. So against this here. wall, perhaps? I'll let you decide. All right, okay, let me just, let's put some markers down. You know what? I'd like to do a wraparound tank, okay? Oh. So we'll start it here, right here. All right. Um, we'll mark this with my official marker. That's totally not a torch. And then we'll come around the, the side here and have the tank extend out to right here. Now, we don't want a U-shaped tank because that's just, that's so 70s. Yeah, it's not classy. No, you want an L-shaped tank. So the tank will wrap around, not there. Where's my axe? I brought it with me, right? Yeah. <laughs> so when you say wrap around, yes, you mean it goes like this? Exactly. Kind of nice curve to it. Exactly. And uh, am I, I mean, do I have your permission to dig out behind this stuff? Yeah, you can dig out. Oh, I think, this is I think be, you're safe to go here. This is going to be beautiful. This is going to be the best one I've ever built. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Am I safe to dig further this way a little bit? Like, maybe two blocks? Yeah, I think it's all clear. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, may maybe leave, a, like, a one block space or two from the ceiling here? Uh, but, like, you might have to dig down a bit. I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's no problem. I'll use the same color. You want the same colors, right? You want things to be coordinated. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because I could just go crazy and, you know, use like different, like yellow and green, but I'll, I'm going to try to use cyan and whatever this is. Cyan, I guess. <laughs> cyan. Do, do your tanks come in different colors? Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't Different know that. colors, shapes, sizes, you name it. We got the best tanks in the business. <laughs> I'm gonna start working on it right now while <laughs> while we're doing our consultation. Yeah. So now we have to discuss price. Um, okay. Alright, so the general the general going going rate for a tank this size would be about twelve diamonds. I'll pay you one diamond. Okay. We are very far apart. <laughs> <laughs> now let me just tell you, for the twelve diamonds, you get the tank, the water, the squid, and the name tag. 
a classic name tag. It it will be well any name really. This music, <laughs> this door of yours has a flaw. <laughs> the music <laughs> never stops. Um, no, it'll be a name of your choice. Of course, if you can provide the name tag, I am willing to knock off some some diamonds. Mm -hmm. uh, I think you better provide it. Oh well, that's twelve diamonds then. It's steep, but listen to me. People who come down here, they will see this thing and just be amazed. They'll know you're like top dog on the server. Yeah. Well, you see, this is a secret place. You're not allowed to tell anyone. So, oh, oh. So this is just for me. Should I not be recording? <laughs> People will know. <laughs> just, just cut it out. Okay, I'll cut this whole thing out. No. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. Well, it'll it'll also provide the most the most <laughs> peace ever. Mm -hmm. World peace, even. Oh, world peace. Yeah. Hmm. So your price on world peace is twelve diamonds. Twelve diamonds for world peace. You know what, Etho? Hold and on. And a flower. I want a flower. Okay. Okay. I was about to bring the price down, but we can go. We can do twelve. Twelve diamonds and <laughs> a flower. Ten diamonds and a flower. <laughs> I was gonna say ten, so we can agree on ten, and I will provide you with a flower of your choice, as long as it's yellow. I want one of the new flowers coming out. Oh, okay. Patches. Well, when that's released, I'll definitely bring you one. <laughs> okay, good. And while you're while you're working down here, help mm -hmm. yourself to refreshments. We got plenty of carrots. Oh potatoes. yes, you sure do. There's even poison potatoes. Is this gonna eventually be removed? Yes. You're gonna have like a lounge area, like a couch and stuff. Oh yeah, it's gonna be classy. Oh man, I can't wait to totally crash at your place. Wow, well, it's just for me. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just remind you of that. It's just for me. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, I'll get started as soon as I gather some materials. How far are you from the water, by the way? Let me go take a look upstairs. Water. Hmm. You might have a little trouble getting in and out of here. It requires a little bit of parkour skill. Oh, really? Well, good thing I have a lot of that. Nice. First huh? try. Nice. Um, okay, so how would you close your door then? Take the disc out? Yeah. That is amazing, and I want it. <laughs> now where do I put the disc? Uh, put it in here because I don't have access to your your chest. I'll grab it. Well, I, now you gotta listen to it again because you took it out. <laughs> Why are you putting it back in? <laughs> Why you gotta oh. open the door again? Oh, for now. oh, your door has a serious flaw. Oh, there's some water right here. Oh, there's a squid right there. Look at that. Three of them. This will be. I don't even need you, do I? This will be easy transportation. Oh, you do because <laughs> the quality of tank you will get is tremendous. <laughs> you know, I've I've got years and years in the fish tank business. Really? Well, years and years of fish tank experience. I have fish in in I IRL, bro. <laughs> oh, do you? Yeah, I know what I'm doing. It's gonna be so sleek and modern and stuff. It's, you're gonna love it. I can't do make this. There we go. <laughs> I had fish before, and they always have that poopy smell to them. Oh, are, you didn't are, change the water, bro. Are your squids going to have the poopy smell? No, no. There will be regular water changes. Okay. Maintenance and stuff. Sometimes they relieve their ink sacs in the water. Is that going to be a problem? As long as you don't touch them with, their, with a sword, the oh. ink sacs will remain inside of them. Okay, good, good. But if you go at them with a sword, you might have some trouble. Also... Yeah. If they die. This is non-refundable, especially no. if you kill them yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so they don't try to get their ink sacs. Is what no, don't do that. They, they don't provide inks. You should be able to farm squid, actually, for ink sacs instead of having to kill them. That would be cool. Yeah. Unfortunately, death is the only way. Anyway, yeah, that, that's awesome. This is going to be great. You're going to love it, I promise. I'm looking forward to it. So am I. Don't, don't mess up, please. Not a chance. It's going to be beautiful. All right. Well, get to work. <laughs> All right. I want to go grab some supplies. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Beef. No problem. Been working super hard on this thing already. So here is the basic color palette we're working with. We're going to go with cyan for the outside, which matches these blocks here, right? Right? These are cyan blocks, right? Yeah, they are. Otherwise, I'd have another stack of something. Um, so we're going to go with cyan. We're going to go with uh, ice instead of glass because the ice allows you to see things a lot clearer than the glass. Uh, do I have any glass? I don't. If I had glass, I would show you. But if you put glass and then put water behind it, 
when you're looking through the glass, you see the water like running down. <laughs> it's really ugly and you can barely see anything else behind it. We're going to go with glass. I mean, we're going to go with ice and I'm using a white background and not just any white background. I'm using quartz because that's what I think of my clients. You know, I want to provide this. Ain't, this ain't no phony business here. This isn't a, you know, get in a hole and try your luck sort of business. This is something that is actually tangible that takes, you know, time on my part and offers a valuable return on investment, right? <laughs> that all sounds legitimate, right? No, but seriously, I'm trying to provide something really nice and it's going to give me a chance to work a little bit on my redstone skills. There is going to be some redstone involved here. I'm kind of nervous about that. You never really want to include anything with redstone when you're doing something for Etho. <laughs> he kind of knows all about it. So he will definitely notice the mistakes, <laughs> but he probably won't point them out because he's a nice guy, right, Etho? You're not going to point out the mistakes because you're a nice guy, right? <laughs> uh, let's see how that looks. Also, I'm going to go with a dark, dark um, substrate in Aquarius terms, a substrate. I find dark substrates make things more dramatic most of the time. Um, you don't want to use grass or dirt or anything like that or gravel. It's too light. You want something dark. That'll really make the squid pop. Oh yeah, this is going to be fantastic. It's very nice. It's looking great already. What are we? Too wide here. That That's about acceptable. That's where I want to be. I think we need to go another row of quartz, though. Unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately for my pocketbook. How are we looking like this? I want to make sure when we look at it, we can't see the edge of it, and you can't. Good, good, good. All right, let me finish off the sides here, and uh, and we'll be right back. And there we have it. I wanted to make it look like it fit this place, and the outside of his house is filled with this sort of thing, where the cyan wool is behind the blue or the cyan stained uh, clay. So I'm trying to make it match, and I think it looks great. Then there's this button here. This button is going to activate the lights. And it's going to be really cool. <laughs> Lights are awesome. Uh, I'm going to have to use some repeaters. So the first one, we won't use a repeater. The second one, we will. The third one, we will. Oh, this is going to be tough. Okay, let me see if I can perhaps, perhaps inch my way over here like so. Uh, maybe perhaps inch my way over here some more. There's a good reason these repeaters are set like this and uh, and not just straight through. is because I'm going to put something else over here. It's going to be really cool, I think. And another one and another one. All right. So this make this should make the lights turn on uh, s like sequentially, starting from here, I hope. At least that's the idea. Another thing I wanted to add, the dropper. This is going to be an automatic fish feeder sort of system. Every time the sun comes out, it will drop fish for the squid. So the squid does not starve. <laughs> of course, right? That would just be terrible. Now, I have a perfect spot here, actually, for... Oh, I don't have my... Uh, uh, the light sensor thing on me. Did I bring it? Yes, the daylight sensor. That's what it's called. Okay, so we'll put the daylight sensor over here. And then maybe just a piece of glass up at the top there oh wait a minute it's in the corner isn't it that's not gonna be super easy to deal with hmm let's see what we can do up here he he gave us free reign to do whatever we want at least that's the way I'm looking at it so if we put this thing here I wouldn't need to put any redstone or anything I wanted to make it clean now, does it go through leaves? I'm pretty sure the daylight goes through leaves. The the daylight sensor reads stuff through leaves. So we could just take this glowstone block out and hide it under the leaves. That'd be kind of cool, actually. Not only would it be cool, it would probably be the best way to do it. In fact, we'll also do this. Oh, yeah. Oh, buddy. He is going to love this. Look at this. This is unbelievable. Oh, here. I guess we'll have to leave that there. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, let's see if we can't sneak a peek at what it looks like outside. 
Oh, yeah, but he's got the other glowstone here, too, which I guess would throw off the symmetry. Um, I don't know. Maybe he can... I mean, if he doesn't like it, he can he can fix it. I can even fix it for him. But that's kind of cool where you don't see anything, right? And if you go close enough... You can, if you go close enough, you can see it, but... It looks pretty good. I like it. Well, let's get out of here before we get attacked by terrible, terrible things. Uh, good. Alright, so we got that taken care of. Now every time the sun comes up, it's going to feed the squid, like I said. We got to just put some stuff in there. As a matter of fact, let's just put some... Two cobble in there. And while we're working on it, maybe the sun will come up and maybe we'll see it in action. Now this thing is going to look really nice, I think. I still have to fill it with water, but before we do that, we've got to figure out a way... To... Oh, man. My dog is freaking out. He's, uh, he's chewing on something that he shouldn't be. Give me a second. I'm going to beat the living crap out of him. Okay. Living crap has been beat out of him. Uh, how are we going to do this? So. No, that's not it. We're going to need this to be... Is this a good spot for the button? I think it is. It's like, I think it looks perfect there. Yeah, it's a good spot for the button. Now, let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, these two should be facing... Oh, no, we're already doing it wrong. This is the way. Like this, these two should be facing each other. So, bam, they're facing each other. Now we gotta put some redstone on top. Now this is basically a T flip flop. Oh, no, no, no. No, thank you. This is a T flip flop, but without pistons. And I found this to be the coolest way of doing this, so you don't have the nasty piston noise. Um, the problem is, I don't exactly know super well how it works. I think if I just put a comparator here, did I? Here we go. I'll put a comparator here. Now if I put something, now let's hit this button. Oh yes, 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 this is fantastic. Can I put, is that gonna be, that's not gonna work. Learning about redstone, I tells you. All right, this will work though. So we'll put this here. Let's let's light this up back here. We don't want mob spawning. Perfect. So now let's get some cobble going. We'll go like so. Uh, wait. What do we have to go? We have to go all the way up here. Oh, you know what? Yeah, like this. Oops. Whoops. Um. Wait, what? What am I doing? What the heck am I doing? Like this. This will work. Right? Now these lights should turn on. Yeah! Oh, and you see that? They have like the little... Oh, that's cool. Um, to get rid of that little, I don't know if you guys can tell, see how it turns off for a split second, or it turns on for a split second, then turns on complete, oh, we have problems, mm. we have problems, the lights are too close, hmm, okay, we had to fix that, our lights have been moved back, and this thing is pretty much done, uh, here's the switch for the T flip flop, you flick it, oh, you flick it, boom, lights are off sequentially the way I like it this looks really bright over here is this light on for some reason probably not probably just a glowstone above it or something making it really bright uh, which I'm gonna I'm gonna cover this all up so there's gonna be no glowstone it seems to be bright over there let's just make sure that lights not on yeah, it's not. It's the glowstone right here. Yeah, right above. It's right above a glass block, too. So, I moved the uh, the lights back so they wouldn't melt the ice. Put some glass here so the light can go through. Uh, there's repeaters here and redstone. Um, <laughs> there's that, I guess. There's also... This is the feeding system. Now, this squid is a special squid. You could feed it pretty much anything, and it'll eat a lot of things, okay? Let's just... Let's just feed it some crap. Okay, we'll leave the rest of the crap. Um, the light sensor... Every time the... the day turns day <laughs> every time it turns day light sensor will activate 
the feeding dropper, we're going to call it. We'll call it the feeding dropper. And, uh, and our squid will eat it. As long as you don't watch them eat it. I mean, you, it takes them about five minutes to eat it. Um, eventually, you know, stuff will drop in the tank and eventually it will be eaten. You just can't watch him eat it because sometimes it looks like he's not eating it at all. Sometimes it looks like it just disappears after a certain amount of time because it's been dropped on the floor and nobody's picked it up. So, don't pay attention to him while he's eating. The thing is, I wanted to give Etho a bonus. I'm going to give him a garbage disposal on his first floor. Look at this. You can't even notice it. Now, if he doesn't like it, I'll totally remove it. Uh, but I think it's pretty incognito here. He needs to throw something out. He just comes over here and go, hey, I don't like this. Boom. Goes right through the hopper into the dropper. And the dropper will eventually randomly feed the squid when it turns day. And the... Oh. Please recycle used bottles. Okay, so this is the recycling. So now he's got garbage. <laughs> Etho, you've got recycling and garbage now. Um, I did not know he had one of those there, but that's okay. Now he's got two. He, well, that one's for bottles only anyway. What if people want to throw out stuff that they don't want anymore? By the way, the daylight sensor is right here. Uh, right below this, uh, this carpet, actually. So I did not change a thing of his design. Everything looks exactly the same. I'm sure he appreciates that. Uh, let's get back down here. You know what? Let's block this off, too, because I don't want stuff dropping in on me and destroying my very hard work. So yeah, there's your uh, garbage disposal, ready to feed the squid at any moment. We've got our switch. I think we're ready to put some water in here. We've got to cover this up. Let me cover this up first, uh, because I want to see exactly how dark it gets inside this thing. I think it's going to be really cool when, uh, when we light it up, after seeing it all super dark and stuff. Let's get fill in, fill in this whole thing here. Let's get right in there. All right, that's pretty much it. Look at this thing. This thing looks pretty fantastic. Man, if only the water was clear, then you'd be able to see the fish perfectly or the squid perfectly. But the water is not clear. It's all nice and dark. It's still kind of bright over here, and I, I covered everything up over there. I'm not sure what it is, but uh, that's about as good as I can do. I'm sure with the water, too, it'll be... Oh. We had a little garbage drop. Look at that. There's food for the squid right there. The squid's just going to eventually come in here and magically eat it. Believe me, it's just one day you're going to look and it's going to be gone. And the reason it's gone is because the squid ate it. It's totally not despawning or anything. Um, yeah, look at this. This thing looks really cool. I'm very happy with it. We've got some tech in it. We've got some lighting, some sequential lighting. We've got a dropper that drops food in to the squid. We've even got a garbage disposal unit as a bonus. <laughs> so I'm sure he's going to be super happy about it. Um, I should fill this thing with water. And then, my friends, then comes the hard part. The squiddy part. Oh man, have I been using my silk touch this whole time? I hope not. I probably have. Let's fill this thing with water. Um, what are we going to... Oh no! Dang it, man. This thing is too strong. All right, so we can... Oh, here we go. Here we go. I have an idea. Oh, I have a bucket. Ah, it's too late now. Right, so we got that. Where's my bucket? My bucket's not here. Of course not. Got to make sure every block is water, which is a lot easier to do now than before. Because now the water sort of mm, rejuvenates itself. I don't know how to say it, but you know what I mean. Well, maybe you don't. But the water sort of creates its own infinite source now nowadays nowadays water's got a mind of its own go ahead and uh, get that all taken care of and this squid is gonna live what what a what a life he's gonna have he's gonna eat trash <laughs> he's gonna have a nice lighting effect by the way Etho, if you want to hook up the um, the daylight sense or day night Daylight sensor, it's called, right? Yeah, the daylight sensor to the lights. That's that's very easily done. I mean, it's it's right here. I guess I don't have to tell you, but it's right here. So all it requires is a little a little finagling, I guess, and then it'll turn on during the day or or whatever you want. I mean, this is your thing. Um, I'm just here to provide the squid. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Stop. This, this filling might be a little trickier than I originally anticipated. 
Um, look at that. Oh man, you can't even see. Never mind. This is gonna be perfect. You can't see the water through the ice, can you? This is gonna be great. Look how clear it's gonna be. Oh, fantastic. Let me guy. Let me show you guys. I don't know if I have any glass because some people might be questioning the uh, the whole. I don't have a good way out of this place either. That's what I don't have. Uh, the whole using ice instead of glass thing. And I'll show you why that's important. I've got to find some glass. I think maybe he has some in his chest or something. All right, dudes, check this out. This is for science. You ready for this? Let's put some glass here, some ice there. Originally, without the water, you think, hey, you can see through the glass a lot better. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Let me just show you something here. That's not what I wanted to show you. Let me just show you something here real quick. Guys, you're going to be very disappointed in glass. You're going to go home today and say, hey, man, you know what sucks? Glass. Check this out. I don't want to look at it yet. don't want to spoil the surprise. Okay, both solid blocks of water. Look at this. Look how clear that is compared to this. You can't see anything in this. I mean, if you put a ceiling, ceiling, roof, whatever, if you cover it up, <laughs> cover it up, you can't see anything. Imagine trying to look at a squid through this. Much easier through this. Much easier. That's why I'm using the ice instead of glass. And it looks terrible too with the water flowing down. What's up with that? Ooh wee. What up with that? What up with that? <laughs> SNL reference. All right, let's finish up here. All right, last layer of water here. We should be safe. Uh, let's go ahead and put... Oh, can I not get... Oh, man, the water. Water. Oh, no! Oh, don't, 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 don't ruin all my redstone. How about that? That should do it. If I put... Uh, let me get this out of the way. No, I used my silk touch again. Dang it! That's it. We got it. We got it, except except that this needs to be... No, silk touch out. Silk touch out, like Seacrest out, except silk touch. Like that. That's it. We're good. Yeah, we're good. We're good. And you know what? This is this is extra. Let's check this out. Can't even tell there's water in it. Look at that. That cobble is swimming already. That cobble loves this water. Oh wait. Is that done properly? I can't tell. I mean, what is this? Yeah, it's done properly. Yep, it's done properly. Looks like it's missing quartz here, but it's not. It's just the angle. Look at this. Oh, man, look how dark it gets and mysterious. Dark as well as mysterious. Fantastic. All right, well, the only thing left now is to actually get the squid over here. Etho has given me a name, so I know what I'm going to name it. Uh, but this should be quite the adventure, but we're gonna have to wait till next time because I'm all out of time Hope you guys enjoyed if you have any ideas Let me know. I think it's pretty cool already <laughs> Wonder if turning it all on at the same time would make it better. I don't think so. I think I like that I like the the whole sequential thing. This guy's gonna live a beautiful life in here. Look how much room he's got Oh, man, it's gonna be great. And he's gonna be fed every morning random junk every morning yeah guys that's it for me hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you next time bye bye